Hello and welcome to our video, 10 informations you need to know about yesterday. In this video, we'll be covering some of the most important events that took place yesterday, giving you a quick summary of each one. Trump to be charged. Donald Trump is set to face charges related to a payment made to Stormy Daniels, a former porn star. He is expected to appear in a New York court on Tuesday and has denied any wrongdoing, calling the indictment a political persecution. His attorney, Joe Tacopina, has stated that Trump will surrender to the Manhattan District Attorney's Office early next week. This marks the first time a former U.S. president has been charged with a crime and is expected to have a significant impact across the country, according to CNBC. UK to join CPTPP trade deal The UK is anticipated to become a member of the Comprehensive and Progressive Agreement for Trans-Pacific Partnership which is considered the country's largest trade deal since Brexit. The agreement bloc comprises Australia, Brunei, Canada, Chile, Japan, Malaysia, Mexico, New Zealand, Peru, Singapore, and Vietnam. However, the BBC notes that the UK government's estimates suggest that being part of the bloc will only increase the country's economy by 0.08%. Government burns PPE stock. The iNews site reported that the government has incinerated almost a billion pounds worth of personal protective equipment, PPE, that was ordered during the COVID pandemic. The destroyed items included over 570 million aprons, over 360 million eye protectors, and more than 450 million face masks, according to government figures. A spokesperson from the Department for Health and Social Care said that the government continues to sell, donate, repurpose and recycle PPE in the most cost-effective manner. Bullying in fire crews A quarter of fire brigades in England have reported incidents of alleged racist, homophobic, and misogynistic behavior within their teams over the past five years, according to a report. The His Majesty's Inspectorate of Constabulary and Fire and Rescue Services found bullying allegations in 11 out of 44 services and has suggested that this may only be the tip of the iceberg. The report details instances of a senior officer calling a black colleague the N-word and dismissing it as a joke, homophobic abuse being written on a firefighter's locker, and men using women's toilets, with female colleagues not feeling confident enough to challenge this. U.S. reporter could be jailed in Russia. A Wall Street Journal reporter, Evan Gershkovich, faces up to 20 years in jail after being charged with espionage and detained in Moscow in a move that has been condemned by Washington. Gershkovich denies the allegations, and his detention marks the first time a Western reporter has been held in Russia on spying charges since the Cold War. The Telegraph reports that it appears Gershkovich has been fitted up for merely doing his job of asking people questions and reporting what they say. MPs walk out of Zelensky's speech. Far-right Austrian MPs walked out of a parliamentary speech by Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, citing a violation of Austria's neutrality. While some MPs applauded the address, far-right representatives from the Freedom Party produced placards reading, Place for Peace, and Place for Neutrality, according to the local. Austria has stated that it cannot provide military defense support to Ukraine, but it does back Kiev politically. Branson firm lays off most staff. Richard Branson's rocket company, Virgin Orbit, has announced that it will lay off 85% of its workforce after failing to secure new investment. The company will also stop its operations for the foreseeable future, weeks after pausing them in a bid to shore up its finances. According to filings, Virgin Orbit sold $10.9 million in convertible notes to Branson's Virgin Investments. Following the announcement, Virgin Orbit's stock price fell 16% to a record low of 34 cents and decreased over 43% in after-hours trading, as reported by Forbes. Virgin Orbit was responsible for the failed Cornwall satellite launch earlier this year. Paltrow wins ski crash case Actress Gwyneth Paltrow has won a court case against a man who claimed she crashed into him while skiing. The jury found retired optometrist Terry Sanderson was, 100%, at fault for the skiing accident, and Paltrow was awarded $1 in damages. Sanderson, who was seeking $300,000, £245,000, in damages, 
expressed disappointment with the verdict. Paltrow stated on Instagram that she felt compromising her integrity by acquiescing to a false claim. China threat over U.S. visit Taiwan's President Tsai has arrived in the U.S. for a visit that Beijing has deemed provocative, as reported by The Times. Tsai will spend two nights in New York on her way to Central America, where she will pay state visits to Guatemala and Belize, two of the 13 countries that recognize her nation's statehood. Beijing has threatened retaliation if U.S. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy meets with her, while the Biden administration is trying to play down the significance of the visit, according to Bloomberg. Young find friends offensive. Jennifer Aniston has claimed that a whole generation of children is now offended by friends. The actress, speaking to Variety, said that working in comedy has become more difficult as comedians are now not permitted to make fun of life. Aniston said that in the past, comedians could joke about a bigot and have a laugh, because, it was about educating people on how ridiculous people were, but now they are not allowed to do that. 